Welcome again guys to another session on quadrilateral and now let us understand a very important property of quadrilateral and that is angle sum property of a quadrilateral. So while dealing with triangles you would have uh, seen or you would have gone through the similar property where in uh, what was angle sum property of a triangle? So angle sum property of a triangle was that sum of sum of all or all the three sum of all the three angles of a of a triangle was equal to 180 degrees this was nothing but this was angle sum property angle sum property of a triangle isn't it now we are going to study angle sum property of a quadrilateral so you know that there are four angles in a quadrilateral and that is angle a angle b angle c and angle d these are four angles in a quadrilateral so the angle sum property states that sum of sum of the four angles so when we say four angles we mean four interior angles of a quadrilateral quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees so in terms of radians, we can call it as 2 pi radian. Okay. So now let us understand how do we arrive at this. So hence, let's try to prove this uh, property. So what we'll do is we will use angle sum property of a triangle to prove angle sum property of a quadrilateral. So let's do a construction. So construction, we have to do a construction here. So since we are going to use the angle sum property of a triangle, so let's make two triangles out of here. So hence I join B and D are joined. So the diagonal B D and D is what? A diagonal? It's a diagonal, isn't it? B and D, B D basically is a diagonal. So I joined any of the diagonals. Now you can you could have joined A C as well. There's no problem there, and the proof remains the same. So hence now we can say that and uh, before that, let us name the angles for our ease of writing. So let's say this is 1, this angle let it be 2, then this angle let it be 3, this angle let it be 4, this one to be 5, and this one to be 6. Okay, so hence we can say angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees or pi radians, right? And this is because of angle sum angle sum property angle sum property of a triangle isn't it angle sum property of a triangle similarly i can write angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 this is also 180 degrees same property so you can write angle sum property of a triangle now let this be equation 1 and let this be equation 2 and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do 1 and 2 addition 1 plus 2 let's add 1 plus 2 so what would you get? You will get angle 1 on the LHS, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 6 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 360 degrees. 180 plus 180 in the RHS will give you 360. Now if you club them together, you will get angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. So I am clubbing them together and then angle 4 and then angle 5 plus angle 6 clubbing them together let's go back to the figure so if you see here clearly here angle 2 and angle 3 can you see angle 2 plus angle 3 is d isn't it and angle 5 plus angle 6 here angle 5 plus angle 6 is angle b so hence i can say angle 1 is nothing but angle a angle 2 plus 3 can be written as angle d and angle 4 is angle c and 5 plus 6 is angle b and this all is 360 degrees so if you see a b c and d all put together is 360 degree hence proved right so angle sum property of a quadrilateral says that the sum of all the interior angles of a quadrilateral will be equal to 360 degrees so now you have to uh, remember this theorem or this property uh, you know because we are going to use this property again and again and after this session we are going to solve some problems based on this particular property
थैंक यू